Here's the thing, in this video I'm here to share with you 5 places you can get secondhand equipment that is nice and cheap and pre-owned. First on my list is Cash Crusaders. Cash Crusaders is such an amazing place that you can go and physically walk into the store, touch the products and not be worried that okay, am I going into a hostage situation, I could, are they going to steal my money, what's going to happen. What I love about Cash Crusaders, you can test things out, you can buy them and they come with warranties of even three to six months or even a year depending on what it is you are buying from them i love it so much i've gotten a couple of things even my equipment even things for the house from cash crusaders it's such a reliable place it's safe you can always go back to it because it's a shop and you can always just find where it is another thing just to add is when it comes to cash crusaders you get peace of mind because it's a physical store that you can go to they are not just going to close shop and run away on you and the nice thing is is besides just equipment there's so many things that you can get to help you with your productivity you can get desks you can get chairs you can get props you can get so many things from cash crusaders that will help you with your content creation without having to break the bank that we don't have yet the second one is Facebook Market. Listen, Facebook Market is the place to be. I swear by it. I even bought phones there before I bought this phone that I have over here. I had the iPhone 8. I had the Huawei P9 Lite. I got them all off Facebook Market with good people and good dealers as well. Another point when it comes to Facebook Market, what I really love about it, the more you use it, you actually find who are the dealers. Sometimes it can be scary just to deal with the person that you've never met. But with the dealer, you can have an ongoing relationship. And how? you find a dealer is if they are selling a lot of things within their store that's when you can tell someone is a dealer and when you meet them once or twice you end up having to find that they are really a reliable source to go to you can even sell your old cameras or your old equipment to them and they sell you what they have so it's a back and forth relationship and it's much safer dealers are even willing to come to your place and do the whole back and forth and what i also do is every year we try and renew our cameras because if you already bought something second hand you want to also keep on renewing it so that it doesn't die on you so that you still sell it when it still has value so that you can buy your next equipment up until you get to a point where you can buy something new or even keep on buying second hand there's nothing wrong with that so you can find yourself a good dealer where you can buy stuff from and sell your stuff to at a very reasonable price and they are quicker than putting your stuff on facebook market and then waiting for it to get bought also be careful when it comes to facebook market you want to meet people in public spaces like malls or even police stations you are much safer there because you never know who's real or who's not but you can also just vet accounts by seeing if they are active accounts because some people just form accounts and they don't post anything check who it is you are buying from facebook market and take it from there next on the list is gumtree be forewarned scammers live there so you have to be extra extra careful that you are meeting up with the right person because there's no way to vet whether they are selling the right things or not yes some accounts can show that they are reliable and people have bought things from them and you can see what they had on their history to see what they've bought and what they've sold and what kind of user or dealer are they because people can even leave reviews and all that but it's so different from facebook market where you can see that this is a person they live in this area they've been posting frequently and some people they even post things whilst they are using that equipment or whatever it is that you want to buy so be careful but it's a great place to find good deals because there are still good people out there it's only a few of them like they say that rotten one rotten apple you know will just spoil the bunch but there's a lot of good deals there so always make sure that you're safe always make sure that you go with someone when you are going to look for these equipments or when you're going to buy equipment so that you are safe and sound it kind of gives you peace of mind to go with someone it's always safer next on the list is amazon amazon is one of the greatest and the biggest online platforms that you know you're gonna get stuff from they have a section of used items so this is where you can look for secondhand cameras and secondhand gear amazon is almost as reliable as cash crusaders because it is a whole website that is known worldwide to do deliveries and you have somewhere where you can complain somewhere where you can get warranties somewhere where you can get your questions answered and you're not dealing with an individual that whenever after you see them and you buy the thing and it dies on you you have nowhere else to send it back to that's what's nice about amazon so it's also a very nice and safe option to look at 
Last but not least is camera and gear shops where you can get your lights, your cameras and anything else that you need that is technical. This is the best place that you can get second hand gear from is because they sell the original items themselves but the only thing is it's not the cheapest option this is why it's the last of all the options I gave you. You cannot negotiate the prices whatever the price they have is the price that you're gonna have to buy the item for. So these are the things that you must consider when it comes to buying second hand equipment. So these are the five that I have on my list. You can add anything else or any places that you have bought secondhand equipment and it worked out for you in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe. A lot of people that watch my videos, some of them are not subscribed. Subscribe whilst I still have you over here. I'd really appreciate it. Check out this next video over there. It gives you tips and tricks of what to look out for when it comes to buying a secondhand camera. And I also give you the tea on what I had to go through when I got this camera, check this next video out and I'll see you there.